You both participated in a recent Performance Horse Committee meeting, and one of the things that rose to the top in concerns was the over-medication of uh, joints, specifically. Maybe, can you guys hit that head on for me? Is this really a problem that we face in our industry? I believe it, it can be and is in some instances, and I think it's sometimes due to the, well, the, the trainer's driven to win because they've got a, a client that expects their horse to be taken care of the best and to be ready to go. And the, the trainer's driven to have a lev level playing field. And I think very often they resort to medications not just intra-articular medications, but systemic medications that are perhaps unnecessary, um, just to assure that they have done everything they possibly can. And you know, one of the principles of evidence-based medicine is, is not necessarily doing everything you possibly could, but to do that which is truly indicated. Yeah. And, uh, and I think with the, with the joint injection, uh, issue. It's oftentimes a somewhat obscure issue that's not a clear lameness, but just a subtle performance. And I think that's why it, it has become a crutch yeah. that's not necessarily valid. Yeah. And I do think the over-medication is a problem. Um, at least every single horse show that I work, I come into contact with a client that has had a bunch of things injected right before the horse show, and the horse is still lame. And they'll come to me and say, but I had all of these things injected. Why is my horse still lame? And I think that scenario is, is really unfortunate, not only for wasted therapeutics and financials and all of that, but there's been a missed opportunity to catch something that would have actually helped people. And I think that, you know, communicating with them, like, look, I can do all of these therapeutics that you want me to do, but you're not going to be happy with me when they don't work because they aren't in the right spot or they're not addressing the correct issue. So I do think that over-medication um, is, a, is a struggle in our industry right now. And what we all do as veterinarians in equine practice of trying to kind of come together to figure out a better way around things is, is I think, really important. Do you guys see a role for the AAEP in the education around over medicating horses, and if so, what might that be? I see. I see the the veteran, veterinarians need to be given the educational tools and the confidence to say to their client that there are consequences of over medication and unnecessary medication, um, and that. And, and the very the very overuse of medications over the years is in part why in the performance horse world we've had a lot of medications taken away from us. Uh, and so I think that uh, it, it would be vastly helpful, especially to the younger veterinarians, to give them confidence to be able to say to their clients, look, we've got good evidence that this is not the best way to maintain your horse. There are a lot of other things, particularly physical conditioning, nutrition, getting that horse properly prepared physically through training and, pro and good training, as opposed to just simply trying to find the answer in a bottle. Yeah, and I think from the younger um, perspective, the AAEP has this wealth of more experienced veterinarians who have been to six Olympic Games. I have not been to six Olympic Games. Um, but the AAEP is a way for veterinarians to connect and to really um, get those younger veterinarians teamed up with more experienced, really good mentors that are going to help them um, navigate those difficult scenarios. Because we all face them. It's just whether you can learn to, to navigate them and come out on the other side. and practice the really good medicine that you did all of these years of school for. So I think the AAEP plays a huge role in advocating for the equine veterinarian being on our side um, and just ultimately facilitating those 
um, those connections with, with more experienced people. And I think that's a huge asset for young veterinarians coming out and um, not being afraid to ask, have you run into this situation before? A client wants me to do this, it seems weird. How would you handle it? I mean, every time in my um, career that I've done that, it's been incredibly useful and I've always gotten something out of it, whether it's an English sport horse veterinarian or Western horses or racetrack practice, whatever it, it may be. So yeah, I think it's huge. Thank you.